In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, today in the midst of Lent, we are celebrating the feast of the Annunciation to Mary, that wonderful moment when the angel Gabriel announced to Mary that she would be the mother of God. As we prepare to enter into this great mystery, we take a moment to acknowledge our sins and to ask for God's mercy. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask blessed Mary of a Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father. Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father. You take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who willed that your word should take on the reality of human flesh in the womb of the Virgin Mary, grant, we pray, that we who confess our Redeemer to be God and man may merit to become partakers even in his divine nature, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. The angel brought me, Ezekiel, back to the entrance of the temple of the Lord, and I saw water flowing out from beneath the threshold of the temple toward the east, for the facade of the temple was toward the east. The water flowed down from the right side of the temple, south of the altar. He led me outside by the north gate and around to the outer gate facing the east, where I saw water tri trickling from the right side. Then, when he had walked off to the east with a measuring cord in his hand, he measured off a thousand cubits and had me wade through the water, which was ankle deep. He measured off another thousand, and once more had me wade through the water, which was now knee deep. Again, he measured off a thousand and had me wade. The water was now up to my waist. Once more, he measured off a thousand, but there was now a river through which I could not wade. For the water had risen so high, it had become a river that could not be crossed except by swimming. He asked me, have you seen this, son of man? Then 
he brought me to the bank of the river where he had me sit. Along the bank of the river, I saw very many trees on both sides. He said to me, this water flows into the eastern district down upon the Araba and empties into the sea the salt waters which it makes fresh. Wherever the river flows, every sort of living creature then that can multiply shall live, and there shall be abundant fish. For wherever this water comes, the sea shall be made fresh. Along both banks of the river, fruit trees of every kind shall grow. Their leaves shall not fade, nor their fruit f fail. Every month they shall bear fresh fruit, for they shall be watered by the flow from the sanctuary. Their fruit shall serve for food, and their leaves for medicine. The word of the Lord. The responsorial psalm is the Lord of hosts is with us. Our stronghold is the God of Jacob. God is our refuge and our strength and ever present help in distress. Therefore, we fear not, though the earth be shaken and mountains plunge into the depths of the sea. The Lord of hosts is with us. Our stronghold is the God of Jacob. There is a stream whose runlets gladden the city of God, the holy dwelling of the Most High. God is in its midst. It shall not be disturbed. God will help it at the break of dawn. The Lord of hosts is with us. Our stronghold is the God of Jacob. The Lord of hosts is with us. Our stronghold is the God of Jacob. Come, behold the deeds of the Lord, the astounding things he has wrought on earth. The Lord of hosts is with us. Our stronghold is the God of Jacob. Glory and praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. A clean heart create for me, O God. Give me back the joy of your salvation. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. The angel Gabriel was sent from God to a town of Galilee called Nazareth, to a virgin betrothed to a man named Joseph of the house of David, and the virgin's name was Mary. And coming to her, he said, Hail, full of grace, the Lord is with you. But she was greatly troubled at what was said and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. Then the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, you have found favor with God. Behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you will name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called Son of the Most High, and the Lord God will give him the throne of David his father, and he will rule over the house of Jacob forever, and his kingdom there will be no end. But Mary said to the angel, how can this be, since I have no relations with a man? And the angel said to her in reply, the Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the child to be born will be called Holy, the Son of God. And behold, Elizabeth, your relative, has also conceived a son in her old age, and this is the sixth month for her who was called barren, for nothing will be impossible with God. 
Mary said, Behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done to me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. The Gospel of the Lord. Dear friends in Christ, in today's first reading, which is taken from the book of the prophet Isaiah, the Lord God assures us that even if a mother should forsake her child, God will not and God cannot forsake us. In the words of the responsorial psalm, the psalmist said, the Lord is gracious and merciful. The Lord is good to all and compassionate to all his works. God has shown us his compassion in Jesus Christ, who was born of the Virgin Mary, whose feast we celebrate this day. Her son is the resurrection and the life her son is God's compassion who has brought us to the Father. And so, if we heed the words of Mary's son, and if we believe in him, we have eternal life. It may be very difficult to believe this wonderful message these days, when so many people are suffering from sickness and illness. It may be much easier, as people often say and complain, the Lord has forsaken me. But the Lord has not forsaken us, not even in this time of pandemic, especially in this time. The Lord ever remains present to us in his son Jesus Christ. And so we do not, we cannot lose hope. We do not despair. We believe in the, and we trust in the power of the one who can save us. Trust in God's word and you will not fear. Live in God's word and you will know how to live. Believe with Mary that all things are possible and give your consent to the Lord. Trusting in God who heals our afflictions, let us offer our prayers this day. For the church, May God help us to grow in holiness and be a light that leads many souls to salvation. Let us pray to the Lord. For civic leaders, may the Lord grant them wisdom in protecting all in their care, especially the most vulnerable. Let us pray to the Lord. For those with chronic illness, may Christ the healer Bring them physical and spiritual healing. Let us pray to the Lord. For this faith community, that during this journey of Lent, we may grow in charity and love through the graces of the Eucharist and the sacrament of reconciliation, let us pray to the Lord. For our beloved dead and all who have died in the light of faith, May they receive a place at the heavenly banquet. Let us pray to the Lord. Heavenly Father, you are faithful and kind. Please hear and answer our prayers this day in your wisdom. We ask through Jesus, your Son. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. 
Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity according to your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Brothers and sisters in Christ, at this time we would normally receive the body and blood of the Christ, but today we cannot do so. However, we can be spiritually united with Christ, and so I invite you to take a moment to enter into a spiritual communion with the Lord and through the Lord with each other. Let us pray. Confirm in our minds the mysteries of the true faith, we pray, O Lord, so that confessing that he who was conceived of the Virgin Mary is true God and true man, we may, through the saving power of his resurrection, merit to attain eternal life through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Mass has ended. Go in peace.